hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to teach you how you can create your own libraries in c++ and after that how you can link and use those libraries with the c++ main program and uh, we will also create two different type of libraries one is the static and uh, the other one is the shared type of library and uh, after that we will link those libraries with our c++ main program and see how it works so let's go so guys first of all we are going to create the structure for our project and for this i'm going to open the directory and i am going to create my project in the c directory and i will name it example lib this is the name for my project and inside this project we are going to create some structure for the project and one is source folder and the other is the include folder and in the include folder we are going to store our library files or our header files or hpp files and for this we are going to create uh, one file for the library and I, today i'm going to create the library for the calculator and uh, we can name it calculator.h and yes and uh, we will go back and in the source file we are going to create our uh, main file where we are going to use this library and we will name it main.cpp and next we are going to open this project inside our compiler and i'm going to use the visual studio code compiler you can open it in your compiler and for this i have to open the command prompt and i have to go into my directory in example lib and after this i need to type code space and dot and it will open the visual studio code from the project directory as you can see it is open from example lib and we have over two folders and we have our files so first of all we are going to create some basic library called calculator and in this library we are going to add some basic functions for the calculation and first of all to create a library you need to type hash pragma once it is a preprocessor directive and uh, it is just uh, uh, used to ignore the multiple copies of the library inside the main program and uh, after that we are going to create the class and uh, this is the class and we will name it calc and inside this class we are going to create some public member functions and the first should be the constructor from the class and next we are going to some add some basic functions for the calculator library and these basic functions are the sum multiplication subtraction and division and the return type from these functions should be int and for example it should be the sum of two numbers and for this int num1 and int num2 and i'm going to copy this for all the basic functions and we are just going to replace the name sum by sub and then multiplication and then division and uh, the next thing we need to uh, do is we need to write the definition for these functions and we are going to put colon here and next we are going to write the definition for these functions and for this we need to create a one more file and the name for this file should be the same as our header file and which is called calculator.cpp and inside this file we need to load our header file and from this header file we are going to uh, call write the definitions for the class member functions and for this the first function is just the constructor and uh, in the simplest case it should be empty and you can simply write here is just the empty function and uh, it's empty in the constructor we are usually going to initialize our private variables but in this case i don't have any private variable so it should be empty and next we are going to write the definition for the rest of the functions and the first function is sum for example and uh, the second function is for example subtract multiplication and division and you can simply just replace it here sum with sub and this one is with mul and the last one is with division div and uh, the return type from these functions is integer and you can copy and paste integer everywhere behind these functions and the next thing all the function take just two arguments two numbers and the numbers type also is integer so you can simply copy this and paste 
in the other functions here and here and and uh, the next thing we are going to write something inside these functions and in the sum we are just going to return the sum of two numbers return the sum of two numbers num1 plus num2 and uh, similarly for the subtraction we are going to return the subtraction of two numbers and uh, similarly in multiplication we are going to return the multiplication of two numbers and in division we will just return the division of two numbers and it should be integer type or float type so the next thing we have to save these files and uh, the next thing we will see how we can use this library inside our main program so first of all in the main program you need to also call the library which is the calculator.h file calculator.h file and next we are going to create our main function and inside this main function we are going to create the object from the class and i will name it calc1 and from this calc1 i am going to call the member functions one the first one is the sum and in the sum we are going to create the sum of two numbers for example 10 and 5 and uh, the return type of this function is integer so we are going to save the value of this inside the answer variable and you we will going to print the output from this function and for this you need to call c out and uh, the name for example of the variable which is answer and uh, the next thing we are going to shift our cursor to the next line and uh, we need to also include the io stream for input and output and you can simply write here io stream and uh, the next thing we are going to copy and paste it for the rest of the functions for example this is for subtraction multiplication and division and uh, it should be you just need to replace the names here subtraction and uh, multiplication and here division and that's it this is it so the simplest way to call the library from the file is you need to open the terminal and we are going to compile it with the g++ method and the simplest way is you need to pass uh, the g++ command and after this you need to pass the folder where your uh, main cpp is located relative to the folder from here and uh, it should be in source folder and the name for your main file and after this you need to also uh, give the name of the library file which is calculator.cpp and uh, this calculator.cpp is using uh, the class from the include folder and for this you need to type minus i and the name of uh, and your include folder and you don't need to pass the name of your header file here if you press enter so it will compile the program for you and as you can see a new file is generated with the name of a.exe which is our output file and if i press a, a if i run this file as you can see it will return the answers from these functions for example from the sum it will return 15 and subtraction 5 multiplication 50 and the division is 10 divided by 5 which is 2 and next we are going to create the static library from the files calculator.h and calculator.cpp and for this you need to type g++ minus c and uh, the name of your library files which is in source again and calculator.cpp and this calculator.cpp is using the file from the include folder so you need to type minus i and the include directory and if you press enter as you can see a new file is generated named calculator.o this is the object file from these two files calculator.cpp and calculator.h and after that we are going to create the lib from this object file static library and for the static library you are need to type arrcs and the name of your static library for example in my case is lib static calculator dot a the extension of the static library and you need to pass your object file which is calculator.o 
so if i press enter as you can see a new file is generated here libstaticcalculator.a which is a static library and the next thing we are going to see how we can compile now our main program with this static library without passing the calculator.cpp file so for this you can simply type again g plus plus and uh, now you are going to replace your cpp file with the static library file which is libstatic.a and minus i and you need to type the uh, directory for the include folder and press enter and it will return as you can see again it is compiled successfully and uh, now i am going to store the output from this file for this you need to type minus o and i'm going to store the output from this into static variable and you can see a new file is generated static.c exe and if i run this file so it will run again the functions from this static library and the next thing we are going to create the dynamic library of the calculator.h and calculator.cpp for this you need to type g plus plus and uh, you need to replace here for example here minus shared and uh, after this you need to write the name for your library and which should be lib and shared and for example again calculator and dot so and uh, the next thing is you need to pass again the object file which is calculator.o so if you press enter so uh, it is not finding this file so for this you need to write minus o here so as you can see a new library file is generated which is the shared library now with the extension .so and so next we will link this shared library with our main program and for this you need to type again g plus plus and uh, the shared library we have created is with dot so and for this you need to again pass the source folder and uh, the main file where are you going to link your library and uh, we are going to link our library with this main file and uh, the next thing we need to call our shared library and uh, the path for our include folder and minus o and the output file which is called shared and if i press enter as you can see it is compiled successfully and a new file is generated shared.exe creating the output so if i run shared.exe as you can see the output uh, this is it for today so if you like this tutorial so far you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the updates of the new uploads and for the next time, we will see how we can link those libraries using the CMakeList method. See you next time. Bye-bye.